For this problem, since lambda is equal to 6 meters at 50 megahertz, the receiver is easily in the far field of the transmitting antenna. And since we've given the far electric field expression for the transmitting dipole, we basically just need to solve the last part of the free transmission formula, which is the interception of the signal at the receiver, and how much of that is actually received by the receiving antenna. That is, we need to find S intercepted, and we can take that at the receiving antenna, and we need to take that and multiply it times the effective area of the receiving antenna. And since the receiving antenna is lossless, we can say this is equal to P intercepted, which is also equal to P received. So first, to calculate the time average power density, S, in the vicinity of the receiving antenna, we can use the given electric field expression. Since the transmitter and the receiver are at the same height, then the receiver is at an angle theta equals pi over 2 relative to the transmitter. So I can say S at theta equal pi over 2 at the distance R is E at theta equals pi over 2, the magnitude squared, over to eta naught since we're in free space. So for free space, eta naught is 377 ohms. R here is 5 kilometers. And since the transmitting antenna is lossless, the efficiency is going to be equal to 1, meaning that I naught right here in the electric field expression, all of the current supplied to the transmitting antenna is going to contribute to generating the power being radiated by the antenna. So I'm going to say I naught is equal to 2 amps. Putting all this together, the amplitude of the electric field at the receiver, E theta at pi over 2, is 60 times I naught, which is 2, over R, which is 5,000, and that's all equal to 0 0.024 volts per meter. And then the S, theta is pi over 2, at R is 0 0.024 squared over 2 times 377, which is 764 nanowatts per meter squared. Next, we need to calculate the effective area of the receiving antenna. And we know that that is equal to lambda squared times d over 4 pi. And we're given the directivity of the half-wave dipole. And we know the wavelength. The wavelength is 6. So we take 6 squared. Directivity is 1.64 over 4 pi. And that's equal to 4.7 meters squared. And then P received is equal to P intercepted is S, which is 764 times 10 to the minus 9. And we're we'll multiply that by the effective area, 4.7. And we get 3.6 microwatts. Next, try solving part B. In this part of the problem, we want to calculate the power received by the receiving antenna when the antennas are mounted both on 100 meter towers above the ground. We, and we want to take now into account the reflection occurs from the ground. And the ground has the following properties, epsilon r is 9, and sigma is 10 to the minus 3 Siemens per meter.